Jennifer Lopez <laughs> is one of the hardest working women in show business. And one of the many things we love about her is that I feel like she kind of wears her heart on her sleeve. She loves love. Well, now she's bringing us her most personal project yet. It's a new album, This Is Me Now, and her Amazon original, This Is Me Now, A Love Story, both inspired by her search for true love. Let's take a look. Whenever someone asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, my answer was always in love. You must respect the ebb and flow of the universe. Okay, the music is incredible. This thank project, you. thank you. I think we'll call it a masterpiece. Oh, thank you. It has all of the beats in it. It's your life, pretty much. Yeah, it's really, you know, the story of a hopeless romantic. You that know? what you are? I am, and I have been, and that's why I felt like I could do this. <laughs> you were allowed. <laughs> permission. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like, you know, you know, I got together with Dave Myers, who mm -hmm. directed it. And um, I had this vision for what I wanted to do with the mm -hmm. album when the album was done. And he was like, let's do it. And, and the way we kind of described this, I described it was like, I, it's like the hopeless romantic's journey through life mm -hmm. in their search for love. Right. And that comes with a lot of different things. Well, it comes with strength. That's the other thing I noticed, because throughout this production, you see a young woman on her knees. And you watch her get up again. Yeah. She's down. You think she's you're falls counting down. She gets up. back up. She so to me, to me, it's like I do feel like a big part of our lives or anyone's life yeah. is what happens. Not the falling down. It's like get up the eighth time. It's time yeah. to get up. So that rebound part played, a, played heavily in your life. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I made This Is Me Then, yeah. which I made 20-something years ago yeah. now, it really captured a moment in time when I like fell in love, right? And yeah. so that was like a big thing in my life. And I wrote this whole album, and it was very dedicated to the person. But it really captured that moment. I never thought when I wrote This Is Me Then, I, there would be a This yeah. Is Me Now. But when we got back together... It, it really inspired me to go back in. I felt that same kind of rush at that time. And so I went back in, I made this this album, but what it made me reflect on more than anything was the time in between. Yeah. It made me look at like, what happened? What, what happen? got me from yeah. there to here? And like, how learned? did this happen? Yeah. And I learned a lot. And I yeah. felt like when the album was done, that wasn't the whole story. And so I made the Amazon original to go along with it to kind of tell the rest of the story because I think people can get tricked into like, Oh, this was this big fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale. No, it's not. And so uh, that was important for me as an artist to kind of express and share. I interviewed somebody once who said, like, every seven years you need to reintroduce yourself to your spouse because you're changed. You're different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're different in the beginning of your relationship with Ben than you are yeah. than you are today. So what is the difference between you then, Ben then, and you and Ben today? So much. 20 yeah. years different, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, we're 18 years when we got back together. Right. So there was so much that we are still, even yeah. now that we've been together for three years, you know, still learning about each other. Um, but that's part of the, the beauty of it, mm -hmm. right? Like you, you, when you really find somebody that you can love in that way, mm. you know, it kind of doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. And that you know, doesn't change, but you know, you kind of put it over here and you move on and different things happen. But I, I really feel like love is not a straight line. It kind of like goes like this sometimes. And as some of your friends were saying to you, don't do this, don't do oh, this. Oh, don't do the whole don't project. Don't do the whole yeah. project. You're going to put all your stuff out there. Everything's going to be well, fair game. Why? You know, Why? I think as an artist, you know, you have to show up as your authentic self. Yeah. Like you do your best work when it's something that means something to mm -hmm. you and that is really inspired by things that you know and understand. This isn't an autobi this is by no means autobiographical. Not all of the details are right. Some things are in there for dramatic purposes, mm -hmm. but it is inspired by things that I understand and that I feel as a hopeless romantic were part of my journey. So it's definitely very personal and honest, but it's, I wouldn't call it autobiographical. How many times have you been in love for real? Um, ooh, for real? For real. I, I would have to think about that. You can't. We got yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> one for sure. One for sure. One for sure. Yeah. Your true love. Yep. Isn't that funny that 
we, we, we say we're in love or we feel like we're in love periodically. Well, you believe it. You, you want to believe, believe it. it. You have a connection with somebody and you, you put your best into yeah. it and you do all the things and you make all the commitments and you and you really put all your energy and your heart and your soul behind it. And then, you know, you go, wait a minute, something's not right here, you know, and that's that's, that's part, part of the, of the whole thing. romantic part. Now, <laughs> some like, of Ben's love letters, um, the contents made, made yeah. its way. Now, was he was Ben for things like like that and for all for no, this big project no. he always seems no. kind of private like no, he's please. very private but i'm private too like people didn't know part of this project is like you didn't know really what was going yeah. on in my personal you think you knew and you knew who i was with but you didn't know really what was, what was going, going on. on so we're both private in that way this was but this wasn't really about he and i yeah and so at the end of the day even though he inspired me and this beautiful um gift that he had given mm. me, which you'll see if you watch the mm -hmm. project and the different parts of it, um, you'll learn about it more. Um, but he gave me this beautiful gift, inspired some some of the music mm. and the music, but the story's really not about us. And I think that's what, you know, will be the surprise to people. Yeah. And I love, by the way, your cast of characters that are in it, too. Yeah. you got Jane Fonda. Fat Joe is your therapist. Uh -huh. You've got all... Oh, like the whole, told, You see, it's just so, gave it away! But, oh, what, that, was, did that give it away? Yes! Girl, I did not know. It's right. so... Don't worry. Everyone's going to watch it on Friday anyway, whether they know that <laughs> detail or not. But I like that cast of characters. I feel like they are... Like, they're talking to you like dear friends, saying, don't go with him. I know. What are people going to say? Doing? What are you doing? Well, you know, I thought it was important to have kind of the everybody I think has a Greek chorus of their life yeah. right like the yeah. people who are yeah. like commenting on everything yeah. you do like yeah. you just told me you're you're set up to you know what I mean like you, I just told her I had a date tonight yeah. which that wasn't supposed to be public either oh, well. <laughs> and, and, but, but the thing is it's like you know you have your friends they're going oh you should meet this person yeah. or you should yeah. do this yeah. or don't do that what are yeah. you crazy yeah. and all yeah. this kind of stuff yeah. and they they just they they're an important part of the of the journey and mm -hmm. for me in my life it's not just my family my friends my co-workers yeah. you know and all yeah. that it's also the world you know it's also like everybody in the media always commenting and saying yes. things about you and so i i felt like that was an important thing to put into the into the into the whole musical okay by the way it is it's epic Thank and you. when you watch it, it's what, about an hour or so? Yeah, long? yeah, yeah. It is, um, it's just, it's delightful to watch. Like, Thank I didn't you. know, I, I loved your music when I first heard it separately, but when I saw it woven through this with all the choreography, yeah. your dancing, Thank you. all the theatrics, it's beautiful.